Lieutenant General Sir Andrew Richard Gregory, KBE, CBDL, is a retired British officer who had a 35-year career in the Army and previously served as the Deputy Chief of the Defence Staff. Sir Andrew is now controller of the SSAFA, the Soldiers, Sailors, Airmen's Families Association, which supports serving personnel, veterans and their families in their time of need. More on that later. It was one of the many charities that the Queen supported during her lifetime, having become its patron in 1952. Her cousin Prince Michael of Kent is its president. Here's Sir Andrew Gregory. Thank you so much for taking the time. I know you're very busy for taking the time to talk to us this afternoon. Tell me, how involved have you been, or will you be, in Monday's funeral? Steve, good afternoon. I am heavily involved, and it's a very sad occasion, and it's a great honour to be involved. As well as being the chief executive of the charity, I'm also what's called the Master Gunner St. James's Park. The head of the Royal Regiment of Artillery and Her Majesty was our Captain General, and I therefore have the privilege of representing the regiment and marching in the procession from Westminster Abbey to the Wellington Arch. Have there been, I mean, clearly there have been rehearsals. Presumably you would rehearse again and again. There's been plans for decades, plans that we hoped would never occur. Those plans have had to be put into practice. We had a full rehearsal yesterday morning from between one and six o'clock. Rehearsals, we all learnt things. I've just been up, for example, this morning visiting the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery. They have been rehearsing. They have a pivotal role, not least I talked to some of the soldiers who helped move Her Majesty from the final time from Buckingham Palace on Wednesday. Everybody, Steve, is passionate to honour Her Majesty, honour King Charles and do their best. I know that you will be involved in, as you say, the procession ahead of the service at Westminster Abbey. And I have a little note here. Ensuring the space and speed of the event is kept up as timing is everything. We had a briefing on Wednesday afternoon and they told us that we must march at 75 paces a minute, which is neither a slow march nor a normal quick march. And those experts in the guards said it's really difficult. So for those of us who aren't experts, if I was nervous before, I'm very nervous now, Steve. Mm. Well, I'm sure it'll be fine. So as we go, your endearing memory, on a personal note, if you like, of Her Majesty. I had the privilege of meeting her on a number of occasions. My memory would be her extraordinary ability to make each and every person she met feel the most important person she was talking to that day. That was remarkable. Her intensity, her communication was something quite extraordinary. I had the privilege of two audiences with Her Majesty in Buckingham Palace to discuss both the Royal Artillery and the charity SAFA. And if I can just tell you a little bit about that, for 137 years we've been supporting those in the military, veterans and their families. Her Majesty was our patron from 1952. She got involved much earlier than that. For example, when she and Princess Margaret were young, they took honey from their own hives to some of our children's homes. Today, we support about 80,000 people each year, 
And if I had three asks of your listeners, if you know somebody who is or was in the military who needs some help, please send them to Suffolk. Really nice to talk to you, but uh, in, in such sad circumstances, Sir Andrew Gregory, thank you very much for being on. Really appreciate your insight. And I don't know what the greeting should be, but the very, very best of luck on Monday. It's an honour to be part of it. 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 Honor